Good morning, everyone. I pray the blood of Jesus around everyone this morning. In the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, my Lord, my God, we bless you. This hour, O oh Lord. We give you thanks for giving us another opportunity to be in your presence. We thank you, O oh Lord, for waking us up today, O oh Lord. We just worship you, Father, for you are the Lord and never change. You always do what you promise to do. Father, have your will, Lord. Jesus, take us to control this morning. In the name of Jesus. We are on your table today, dear Lord. Father, come and feed us. In the name of Jesus. We bind all the plans of the enemy against us today, O Lord. According to your word to Job, say, have you commanded the money to know his place? Father Lord Jesus, we are commanding this money, O Lord, putting every power that the enemy wants to use against us, every instrument of the enemy, we put them into their sack right now in the might of Jesus. My Lord, my God, have your way, Jesus. I sprinkle your blood up to 20,000 kilometers, O Lord, wherever your children are listening to us from right now, O Lord. Let your blood cover them up in the name of Jesus. Every attack, we bind it today in the name of Jesus. Father, have your way. O Lord, God, take control. Jesus. Accept our thanksgiving offering this morning. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Let us sing some hymn to praise our God this morning. Let us sing a 506. 506. O oh Lord, my God, when I in arms and wonder, want to go. Oh Lord my God, when I in a someone the consider all that world has us me. I see the stars I hear the mighty thunder, the patrol of the universe display. They see my soul, my Savior go to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then see my soul, my Savior, go to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. When to thy woods and forest land I wander, I hear the bird. Sing sweetly in thy tree. When I look down from lofty, mighty ground, I hear the brook and feel the gentle breeze. Then sing my soul, my Savior, go to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. This is my soul, my Savior go to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. When I think. That God his son of sparing, send him to die, as I can take it in. That on thy cross, 
Also, sing six, seven, three. There is a redeemer. One to go. There is a redeemer. Jesus God, oh Son, precious Lamb of God. Messiah, oh, oh, thank you, oh, my Father, for giving us your song and living your spirit Jesus, my redeemer, when I born precious lamb of God, Messiah, oh, for sinners slain. Thank you, oh, my Father, for giving us your song and living your spirit the work on earth is done when i stand in glory i will see his face and there I will serve my King forever in thy holy place. Thank you, O oh my Father, for giving us your Son and living your Spirit. The work of earth is done. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let us also sing 1003. My Jesus, my Savior. 1003. One to go. My Jesus, my Savior. Lord, there is no like you. All of my days, I want to praise thy wonders of your mighty love. My comfort, my 
Shetra, Tower of Refuge and Strength. Let every breath, all that I am, never cease to worship you. Shout to the Lord, all the air, let us sing. How am I just in praise to thy King? Mountain bow down and the sea we roar at the sound of your name. I sing for joy at the work of your hands. Forever I love you, forever I stand. Nothing compared to the promise I have in you. My Jesus, my Savior, Lord, there is no like you. All of my days, I want to praise thy wonders of your mighty love. My comfort, my shelter, tower of refuge and strength. Let every breath, all that I am, never cease to worship you. Shout to the Lord of the air, let us sing. How am I just in praise to thy King? Mountain bow down and the sea we roar at the sound of your name. I sing for joy at the work of your hands. Forever I love you, forever I stand. Nothing compared to the promise I have in you. Nothing compared to the promise I have in you. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus is our refuge, is our strength, is everything to us. Father, we bless you this morning. We worship you, Lord. Father, accept our thanksgiving offering this morning, Lord. Accept our worship in the name of Jesus. Our brothers and sisters, good morning once again. Wherever you are, the peace of the Lord is upon you in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, we're going back to uh, first John, first episode of John chapter two, where we stopped yesterday. We are going to start from there from verse uh, 15 this morning. Um, the, and the topic is love, love of the world, the love of the world. Let's go to verse 15. He said, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Say, love not the world. Don't love every, anything that is in it because the reason for that is that we are all in transit, my brother, my sisters. Everything we are fighting for is going to make a way. Everything we are fighting for is not following us to where God wants us to be. Praise God. There are many people that may be or that might have acquired all these things. Let's go back to the book of Luke, what happened to the rich man and the poor man? The love of the, the, love of the world occupied the rich man's mind. He was pursuing those things. He wanted to be rich or he's already a rich person. 
dressing up, doing party, going to party, doing all sorts of things every day. But he forgot that God is the God that owns his life. When he died, what happened to him? So God placed him, God placed him in the right position where he belonged. That is how it is for me and you today, my brother, my sisters. John is telling us that we shouldn't love the world. Hallelujah. Say the things and in it, we shouldn't love it. Amen. Verse 16. He said, for all that is in the world, the lust of, I mean, the lust of flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but of his own, but of, but is of the world. Hallelujah. Everything that is in it, the mansion, the cars, everything is not of the Father. That is what the Bible is the one saying it here. I'm not the one that is saying it. He says it's not of the Father because it's there to, the, all these things are there to manipulate people's life. Please remember, I'm not saying that you shouldn't have property or you shouldn't be rich, but how does it come? Or are you putting that first before God? Are you putting the, the career that you have first before God? There are some people that will say, oh, I cannot go to church. I cannot do this because I am very busy. How about that last day? How busy are we going to be? When God has already set aside for all that, okay, Six days I want you to walk, but one day for me. Hallelujah. So verse uh, 17, he said, and the world passes away, exactly, and the lost thereof, but he that doeth the will of God abide forever. You wake up this morning, the time that you have this morning, all the time, as you wake up this morning, do you think that God is not going to pay you back? That's part that most of the time we are praying for ourselves, but God is also going to pay us back for what we, for what we are doing right now. It's not going to leave you just like that and say, oh, my, my son or my daughter woke up this morning to seek my face. And I'm not going to abandon him or her. That is how it is. What the way we are struggling, the way we are doing things, the pain that is in our body, the sickness that that enemy have put in our body, God does not want us to be sick because Jesus Christ Himself was not sick when when He was in the world. He did not seek, but how does this came? Praise God. Anything can come through greediness, through enmity, through. Uh, disobedient. Praise God. So I read that verse 17 again. It says, for the love of the world passeth away and the lost, the lost, and the lost thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abide forever. Hallelujah. Verse 18. Little children, it is the it is the last time, and as ye have heard, that Antichrist shall come. Hmm. Even so are there many Antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last day. These things will make you to understand that the days are coming. Look at everything that is happening now. The whole world is in chaos. The whole world is a problem. The whole, nobody, they, you can't even, nobody can give you the right solution, even right from the family, right from individual's life, down to the country, down to the whole world. Look at everything that is happening. 
is telling us that the Bible is telling us that we should beware of Antichrist that is going to be around and is already around. It's existing, they are existing already. He said they went out from us. He said they went out from us, but they were not of us. For it, sorry, for if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest that there we are not of us all. Hallelujah. The spirit of Antichrist is even existing in churches today, not to talk of the whole world. People are doing what comes out from their mind, not what God tells them. Majority of people are doing what they want to do. They go to uh, places to seek for powers. God is exposing them now one by one. Hallelujah. We are hearing it. We are seeing it. And we are knowing, we are, we are, we, as, as we are observing what is happening to all of them, they are confessing by themselves. It's not that I, Matthew, said it. They are confessing by themselves. I have watched some clips even within the last two weeks, some, some of them are confessing and say, this is what we did. How can God give you power and you say you are looking for a power again? Which other power are you looking for? Who's, who's now is going, who is going to give you that power then? We will see all these things. Thank God, Facebook is good. YouTube is good. Everything is good. It's, the good, the bad, and the ugly depends on what you really want or what, what we want in this social media. Everything that we need in it, everything is in it. This internet. If we want the good, if we want the bad, if we want the ugly, may we not want the bad in it in Jesus' name. Some of them are there to give us the, 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 right, uh, the right information of what is happening in the whole world or of how people have turned themselves to be. God, God did not create the third person or the fourth person. God created man and woman. Did not create transgender. Hallelujah. He did not create uh, lesbian and gay. If you read the book of Leviticus, you will see more of those things there. People read the Bible, but they turn it upside down, the way it will be suitable for them. But God will give us the true word of it, because if also the book of John make us to understand that the truth that you know, that is the truth that will set you free. It's also the truth that will set me free. If we stand by the truth, God, will, God never mislead because the, the book of Numbers also makes us to understand that. Say it's not a man that he should lie. Whatever he told you, now he's telling us that we should be careful of Antichrist. He said we shouldn't love the world because on that very that last day, where are we going? They can dress you up that day with a uh, with whatever you you they have, they can even spend up to ten thousand to buy things to dress you up. But the spirit is no more there, my brother, my sisters. It's just the empty can that they are dressing up. Hallelujah. Verse um, twenty. He said, "But ye have an unction from the Holy One." And ye know all things. They are still, as we are speaking now, the spirit of the living God is telling you all things. Oh, is this thing really real? I was discussing with a friend yesterday, was telling me, oh, what is happening in Christendom now? Why exactly this thing is happening? 
Matthew, the book of Matthew also makes us to understand that at the end of time, all these things will be happening, things will be manifesting. But Jesus Christ said, we have to be careful himself, also make us to be careful. We need to be ready at all time. Praise God. Men, people will be fighting each other. Even children in the house, uh, mother and father will be fighting each other. Brothers and sisters will be fighting each other because of what? Because of greediness, money, uh, property. Hallelujah. Uh, verse 21, it said, I have not written unto you because ye know not the truth, but because ye know it, and that no lie is of the truth. See, he's not writing to us. He's not telling us. We are not saying this that because we did not know the truth. We know the truth. The world know the truth. There was some kind of demonstrator, demonstration in the city yesterday, in the capital of the city where, I, where the country I am, for those that are outside the United Kingdom. Somebody was saying, oh, the law of this land was based was based on the uh, based uh, on, on the Bible. Everything was from the Bible. He said, "But where? I mean, where did the mistake came from? The truth is no more there. People want to do things on their own. I heard it from the person. Even a a, a white woman, that is whom I heard it from. This is not to say, oh, black people have come from Africa." To be saying all these things. This land, they are the ones that told us or that brought the Christianity to us. Though it was still it was in our place before, but the way they brought it, like this Bible was written by 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 King James. King James in Scotland. If you trace the history of King James Bible, you will see that that is where it came from. The mother was a a, a, a black woman. Praise God. So, love not the world. Let us go to verse, um, verse 22. He said, who is a liar but, the, but he that deny that Jesus Christ is the Christ? He is Antichrist that deny the Father and the Son. Anyone that deny Jesus. Somebody will say, oh, God gave him power. They told him he has power. Uh, so a child of about 18 years, God want to use him, but he now manipulated everything because he want to see what is happening in the world. Antichrist spirit. They, we need to be very careful of them because they will attract you with many things. Somebody will give you, will tell you, oh, this is what he's going to do for you. Why did you not do that thing for yourself? A voodoo man, look at the way he's dressing, stinking and smelling. He will say, I will make you rich. Why can't you make yourself rich? The mansion that you want to give to me, why can't you build it for yourself? Hallelujah. So they, did, they will tell you, oh, the, the God that we have been serving is still there. Why, are you, why do you want to import another God to us? It is not so, my brother, my sister. So we have to let people know the truth. He said we have already know the truth. Not that he's telling us lying now. We know the truth that Jesus Christ is Lord. He said whoever denied the Son, the same had not the Father but he, he that acknowledged the Son had the Father also. If you say Jesus Christ is not the Son of is the Son of God, meaning you also accept Jesus. Sorry, accepted the Father. But if you say, oh, there's some people that are saying, oh, 
Jesus Christ is not the son of God. How can you say Jesus Christ is the son of God? Because he came to us to manifest himself as a human being like me and you, to draw himself more closer to us, to be more friendly to us, for us to know more about him. Not that if you want to come the way people want him to come, like, like the Jew, they want him to be born in the palace and say, oh, he's supposed to be a royal. That is why they were saying, oh, is it that, I mean, can anything good come out from Nazareth? My brother, my sister, people are asking you that kind of question today. The way God has placed you to be, the position you are in your family, or even in the land that you are, or among your communities, among your brothers or sisters. They are imagining, oh, we never thought this woman will amount to something, or this man will amount to something because of the evil plan they have against you. Hallelujah. We have to be careful of them. He said, let that therefore abide in you, which ye have heard from the beginning. If that which ye have heard from the beginning shall remain in you, ye also shall continue in the Son, and in the Father. What have you heard before? We heard it before that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He died and resurrected after three days. He was born of a, a, a holy, uh, through the Holy Ma uh, Mary, the Virgin Mary. Praise God. So when we let this thing, when we let this belief, this uh, be in us, we are also liking the Father. The Father will also be in us. That spirit will be in us. We have heard these things even when I was not even uh, a, a Christian. I heard these things before, but I did not believe. But now that God has taken me out from that darkness, it makes me to be more stronger of my belief now. That Jesus Christ is the son of God. Hallelujah. Verse 25. It's, uh, and this is the promise that he has promised us, even eternal life. He said in the book of John to John chapter 14, he said, if it was not so, I will not tell you. That is, in my father's house, there are many mansions. He has prepared a very suitable place for us to go. Praise God. He has prepared a very suitable place for us to go. Then if it is not so, he said he, he cannot lie. Jesus cannot lie to us. Anything that he promised, that is what he's going to do. Or that is what he has been doing. Say he will provide for you. Look at the pandemic. Look at how many people have died. We are not rejoicing over there, but God still protect us. Hallelujah. He said, but the anoint, uh, yeah, that's, sorry, um, verse 26 first. He said, these things have I written unto you concerning them that seduce you. It's not only to seduce man and woman to do common thing. People can also seduce you with money. Like the person I told you I listened to, or I watched last week. It was because of money. Say, oh, we will give you money. You will see more money. They use money to entice him. And that also, even in Jesus Christ, after he finished his 40 days fasting, what happened? The devil tempted him and take him to the half mighty. I say, look at everything in the whole world and the one that owns them. If Jesus Christ have, I mean, accepted the proposal of, of, uh, of the devil, what do you think will happen today? 
our Lord Jesus Christ still have the power more than the devil himself. He used the word against him, but look at what is still happening. But supposing devil is the one that owns the world completely, that no other thing. So people can also seduce you with money. They will tell you, oh, the work that you are looking for, I can give it to you. You don't even need to work. I will be paying you every month. There are people like that. They have their mistress or they have their husband somewhere. They will tell you, oh, I will rent a house for you. I will build a house for you. Why not just leave that man or why not just leave that woman? It's both sides. My brother, my sisters, we are seeing some of all these things, even truth canceling, or it might have happened to people before that we know. They will seduce you with money and say, come and take this property, come and take this money, only for you to do what I want you to do. By the time you now step into that very water, to come out is very deep. Love, not the love, love of the world. We shouldn't love the world. The spirit of Antichrist is ruling the world because he did not believe. He did not want you to, to he did not want you to go to that paradise that Jesus has prepared for you or prepared for me. Verse 27. He said, but the he said, but the anointing which ye have received of him abide in you. And ye need not that any man teach you, but as the same anointing teaches you all, teaches you of all things, and is truth, and is no is and is no lie, and even as it had taught you. Ye shall abide in him. Verse 28. For now, little children, abide in him that when he shall appear, he's coming back the second time, we may have confidence and not be ashamed before him at his coming. Amen. Verse 29, the last. He said, if ye know that he is Righteous, ye know that everyone that are, that dwell righteous, that doeth righteousness, is born of him. He's just warning us, correcting us, telling us what to do, telling us how to guide ourselves. Don't let anyone deceive you. Don't let anyone. Uh, it's first of all, I think in, in the first part of it, he said. We should we 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 should we shouldn't love the world. Hallelujah. We are going to finish this uh first John. We are going to finish it from one to five for us to really know and follow up everything. If we do it half and half, we may not understand it fully. But I pray this hour that God will give us the understanding, God will give us the meaning of him calling us accepting us as his son and daughter he's the one that is searching for us because he loves us and god will bless us all in jesus name let us quickly pray let's pray first of all to thank him this morning i say i thank you for your love in my life let us pray lord jesus i thank you this morning for your love oh lord for loving us Father, we bless you. We worship you, Lord. We give you thanks. We give you adorations. We thank you, O Lord, for all that you have been doing and what you're ready to do. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy Lord. Lord Jesus, I thank you for the life of every soul right now, O Lord, in their home. They are hearing us. They are hearing your word. Not me. They are hearing, Lord. It's your word from your Bible, from your, from your, from your book. Lord Jesus, I thank you for everything that you have done for them and their children. My Lord, my God, I bless your holy Lord for waking them up this morning. Father, have your will, Lord. Take absolute control today. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are going to pray for that spirit of discernment. For you to know that there is an antichrist somewhere, you need that spirit of discernment. So that when you go anywhere, or when you hear any, anything, that spirit in you will, let you will tell you that, oh, this is right, or this one is wrong. Or where you are going now, it's not the right time for you to go. Let us now continue to ask for that spirit right now. I say, Lord, Jesus, let that spirit of discernment continue, continue to grow in me. You have that spirit already. You only just want to, I mean, what you just need to do is just to maintain it, allow it to grow. And when it grow in you, nobody can deceive you. Lord Jesus, Father, Lord God, Holy Spirit, we pray for that spirit of discernment this morning, oh Lord. Let it continue to be in us, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, that spirit of discernment, I pray it for your sons and daughter on the line right now, Lord Jesus. Let that spirit grow in them, in the mighty name of Jesus. Impute that spirit into their life, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. The spirit that will let them know the good and the bad so that they will be able to identify that spirit of the, uh, that spirit of antichrist in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, have your way in the mighty name of Jesus. Touch their heart, O oh Lord. Plant them in the right position in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. He said, love, love of the world, the love of the world. You can say the love of money, the love of everything. God, Jesus Christ did not say we shouldn't love or uh, we shouldn't have the money because the book of Deuteronomy also makes us to understand that it's God that gives us power to make way. But when we are we now take those things, those property that He gave to us as our God, we are not people are now worshiping those things and say, Oh, because of this, I cannot serve God. Or there are some people that just pushing, just pursuing those things. They just forget about God entirely. So let us now pray and say, Lord Jesus, Father, the, Lord, the Spirit will love you forever, permanently. Father, Lord Jesus, let that Spirit be in me. Let it be our, in our children. Let the Spirit of the living God touch our children. Let us now continue to pray. Lord Jesus, Father, Lord God, Holy Spirit, let that Spirit will love you forever, O oh Lord. Let it continue to be upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, Father, of Holy Spirit, let that spirit continue to be on us in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, let that spirit continue to be upon us, O oh Lord. This, that spirit will love you forever. Let it be upon us. My brother, my sister, if, you, if we are doing the right thing, how will God not heal us? Not that that sickness may not be there, but it is not going to be the way the enemy have planted it. If God wants to take it away, we will not take it, we will not, not up to one second. Will, everything will vanish away. Let us now also pray for that spirit of obedience in our life. Jesus, Father, Lord God, give us the mind of obedience, O oh Lord. I want to obey you forever. Lord Jesus, give us that spirit of obedience, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We need that spirit of obedience in our home, in our, everything that we, we are doing, Father. Give me that spirit. Let that spirit of obedience grow in me, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Even if our children is not disobeying us, why should we be disobeying our God? As for that spirit, my brother, my, my, my brother, my sister, as for that spirit right now, and pray for that spirit to grow in you, the spirit to love God, the spirit to obey God forever. Lord Jesus, we are asking for that, for that very spirit today, O Lord. Let that power grow in us, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Verse 26, he said, These things have I written unto you concerning, concerning them that seduce you. We are going to pray. And, and we are going to use that uh, 27 we teach to. He said, But the anointing which ye have received of him, abide in you. Let us now ask for that anointing. There is something in you, my brother. There is something, something in that, my sister. There is still a gift. There is a gift. At least God give everybody in this whole world that know him. There is, at least there is a, one particular gift in you. Let us now use the blood of Jesus.
to push that very gift out so that it will continue to manifest in God's way in our life. Let us now continue to pray. Father Lord Jesus, there is a gift, there is anointing which you have put in me, O oh Lord. Father, I ask for that anointing right now. Let that anointing continue to grow in me, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. That gift that is in me, that refuse to grow, I use your blood right now to purge it out, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, Holy Spirit, let that gift continue to grow out from our brothers and our sister right now, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Holy Spirit, whatever spirit they want to use to seduce them, Jesus, I bind that spirit right now, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the anointing from above flow in the life of those, our brothers and sisters right now, in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, as you have taught us, O oh Lord, as we have heard this thing, any man or woman that want to manipulate us, continue to pray and say, I bind every manipulation in the mighty name of Jesus. O oh Lord God, I bind every manipulation out from our way, out from our life, out from our children in the mighty name of Jesus. They matter. They are manipulating people right now. Even government, everybody, they are manipulating people. But how can we know the truth? The truth is in Christ. That whatever that is happening, they are manipulating the children, teaching them or asking them some kind of question that we divert what the parents are telling them, what they are teaching them at all. Let us now commit our children to the hands of God and say every evil in my belief, in manipulate, I mean, sorry, every evil manipulation in the life of our children, Father Lord Jesus, make our children heart to stand first in you, to stand firm in you, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. For every manipulation that they are manipulating our children, there are many of them that are in confusion right now. They don't know what to do. We are telling them the right thing, but the enemy also telling them a different thing. Lord Jesus, Father, remove that manipulation. Make uh, their, uh, the heart of us children, O oh Lord, made their mind to be staying fast in you, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for those families right now that the children are, I, I cannot, that the children are doing what is not right in Christ. Lord Jesus, Father, Lord, Holy Spirit, touch those children right now. Touch our children wherever they are, my Lord, my God. Touch them, O oh Lord, and bring them back to yourself in the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way, Father. Jesus, take control. In the mighty name of Jesus, we do bless you, Lord. We worship you, Father. We thank you because you have done it. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Let us still pray for those that are sick. Ask for something that you want God to do in your life. This week, ask God. God, Our God is mighty enough to do what he has promised to do. Is it healing? Is it career exchange? Is it provision? Anything that you need. Our God can provide for us. Continue to pray right now. Ask for those things. Lord Jesus, Father, Lord, Holy Spirit, we want you to manifest yourself, O oh Lord. Manifest yourself more in this very temple, in the mighty name of Jesus. As people are hearing us, even see the name of Global Light Apostolic Ministries, Father, Lord, manifest in their life, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your word, your own defied word, Father, Lord, let it come from this temple, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, use us, O oh Lord, as your instrument of revival in this very temple, in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, take absolute control. Jesus, let us continue to walk according to your direction. And I also pray that for our brothers and sisters right now, O oh Lord, under the sound of my voice, that thou evil manipulators that want to manipulate their mind, Father, I cast it out right now in the mighty name of Jesus. No matter how that difficulties may be, Father Lord Jesus, let us all continue to stand firm in you. No matter what the enemy are using to tempt us, because it's just of a season, Father Lord God, Holy Spirit, make us to stand firm in you, O Lord. Make that man and that woman to stand firm, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless you, Father. We worship you, Holy Spirit. We thank you because you have done it. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. I'm also going to pray for let me quickly pray for those. Some family just, uh, they, don't, they call and they say they want to be, they, they want to be part, I mean, they want to be, they want to partner with us. That is the right way. They say they want to partner with us and they just continue doing what they want to do because 
God have touched their heart to do the right thing. And I pray, I'm going to pray for them right now that wherever that mind that God has given them, that mind should grow in them till the end. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, Lord God, Holy Spirit, we pray for our partners today, O oh Lord, by your power and authority, they and their children, those men and that, those women, Father, Lord Jesus, enlarge their coast, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. The good heart that you have given them to serve you, to work for you, to do what you have asked them to do, Father, let that mind be in them, in the mighty name of Jesus. Anywhere they are in this planet at O oh Lord, let the land yield his fruit for them in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever they are looking for, Father Jesus, grant it unto them, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. And let your peace reign in us all in the mighty name of Jesus. These, those that have not confirmed, O oh Lord, or they, are, they, 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 they haven't made up their mind, Father Lord, touch their heart, O oh Lord, and let your name alone be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I soak every soul in your blood right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless your holy Lord because you have done it. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. God bless us all. I soak every soul in the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah.